at the Heart Rhythm Congress in Birmingham, I was asked to address the very important topic about beta blockers. Do they actually work in patients with heart failure and atrial fibrillation? And if you read the guidelines, you'd be forgiven for thinking this wasn't a question at all. The guidelines are really clear. Irrespective of heart rhythm, you should be on a beta blocker if you have heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. But here in Birmingham in 2014 in The Lancet, uh, Professor Kotecha published a meta-analysis that suggested all of the benefit of beta blockade in heart failure was in sinus rhythm, not in atrial fibrillation. And that caused quite a ripple, but a lot of studies subsequently have examined that, usually in other randomized trials with propensity matching, with all of those caveats that go with that methodology, but also in real-world data from Denmark and from Sweden and from tens and tens of thousands of patients, hasn't really confirmed that concern that beta blockers don't work in heart failure with atrial fibrillation. So, so far the guidelines haven't changed. If you have a patient with heart failure, reduced ejection fraction, treat them with beta blockers irrespective of their heart rhythm. So anticoagulation is a very key issue for the Heart Rhythm Congress and for the Atrial Fibrillation Association. If you have atrial fibrillation and are at high risk of AF-related stroke, you should be anticoagulated. And it sounds very simple, and it's been clear international and national guidance for years now. But the question I was asked to address at the Heart Rhythm Congress was, do we even do this effectively? And I'm afraid the answer is probably no. There are many patients in the UK at the moment that despite high risk of AF-related stroke are not being anticoagulated. And we see them when they come in with their strokes, which is devastating for them and their families. So we really do need to have more effort and emphasis on this. And that's why it's been so good to see the NHS long-term plan that was published by NHS England last year, making AF detection and protection from AF-related stroke really front and centre of its cardiovascular strategy. So to answer the question, we don't do it as effectively as we should do. That's shameful. We need to improve the situation, and that's going to be driven by local enthusiasts.